Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this in 2024. A Happy New Year to everybody and uh, please feel free to join me on my last ride of 2023 through the uh, amusing amounts of water that we had uh, come down over the last few days. This is in the village where I live. Um, went and uh, filled up and met Rich Stone and uh, had some more amusement with uh, lots of deep water. To be honest, I thought I would have wanted a jet ski here rather than a motorbike, but there you go. Covering 15,002 miles in a year, which is a bit low for me, you get to see some weird and wonderful driving. And uh, here are some of the highlights, or rather lowlights, of this year, starting off with the all-time favourite of red light running. Red is supposed to mean stop, and if it's gone from green to amber, it meant to stop if it's safe to do so. Or you could just barrel through and hope that uh, nobody catches you on film. Why have one when you can have two? Here we are at uh, Banbury, and uh, keeping on the silver car, because not only does it go through on the lane for the M40, it crosses two lanes as it goes round the roundabout. Or you could just uh, go and overtake a line of traffic stopping at a red and turn left. That's quite impatient and that leads us on nicely to impatient drivers and riders. Here we are heading uphill to a sharp left turn and if you're in an old style mini and you can't quite make the overtake just feel free to cut the bike up. Lorries are big and heavy, me and my motorbike are soft and squishy or soft and snappy as I've found out so I always give lorries plenty of room so they can see me and manoeuvre. This bit's sped up hence the shaky bits or you could just black your way through as soon as you think it's clear. Here's another lorry one, loads of cages in the road for some reason, oh, there's a lorry reversing round the corner to pick them up. Can't see round the corner past the lorry, there's parked vehicles or you could just go sailing through on your own sweet way. This rider got to Jilk's Calf, which is a couple of miles up the road, about 15 seconds before I did. So worth uh, overtaking where you can't see for saving a little bit of time. Keep your eye on the blue BMW at this one, junction 15A of the M1. It's been indicating left to go up the M1 northbound and then indicating left again. The black car is going southbound so it's in the right lane to do that. Never mind, enjoy your trip around the, moat, the uh, roundabout. Three lanes here, left, straight on and right only, or you could just use it to try and get a couple of cars ahead in the queue of traffic. Well done. The advanced stop lines are to let push bikes uh, move in if they actually bother stopping at a red light or for getting yourself a whole car's length ahead while you sit at a red light. We've all been on L plates, we've all still doing a hill start so just give learner drivers a bit of room or you could just uh, take the chance of overtaking four vehicles and diving in front of them. Um, close accident there. Part 3. Failures of observation. If you go nose to tail at 60 miles an hour as an obstruction, you can all just swing out into the oncoming vehicles or not look in your mirrors when somebody's about to overtake. I don't know if this was deliberate or accidental, but either way, it was quite a close call for me. Uh, the all-time favourite, not looking properly at roundabouts and uh, giving a bike of a moment. And rear observation is also important. Why am I pulling over to the left? There's an ambulance coming up behind. Uh, of course, you can just ignore that and carry sailing on straight through with a big yellow vehicle with flashing blue lights on top. Uh, a couple of hundred yards to go in solid whites before we clear them, but just go past if you're on a bike and it's a bit damp. I can see over the car in front, there's a lorry on coming on a single track road. This vehicle has only just realised at the last minute. Instead of reversing into the gate, reverses straight back at me doing a wobbly reverse. And it's only me blaring my horn that seemed to have woken them up so they didn't run into me. I was frantically paddling a bike backwards at this point. It was my Tracer 9. I'm not sure what's going on here. The 4x4 is reversing up the wrong side of the road and indicating left. So it's going to go down the left-hand turn, isn't it? Um, no, it's not. I don't know what's going on there, I'm confused, the oncoming car's confused and I don't know what they're doing 
in the 4x4, which brings us onto the wrong side of the road. Uh, this car pootled out as I was doing a right turn at a roundabout. Not only did it uh, cut, cut me up, it also drove straight over the middle of the roundabout. This was an interesting one, 60 mile an hour road, car driving down the wrong side of the road. Uh, I don't know who was more shocked by that, me or them. Also happened in the 30s with cars cutting across junctions. Not really sure why, you don't need to do that. And we have wildlife, my favourite. Um, very unpredictable, such as the dog running down the road. Um, it's gone well past us before we moved off. Uh, Carl and I going to Hunt Stanton at Easter. Uh, we stop as people with cars, but, and then the dog runs back past us. Uh, this is sped up. We're a fair way back from the dog. You can see it in the distance, and then it takes a hard right. Pheasants, stupid animals, and uh, they will always take off right in front of you. And uh, if you haven't already seen it, here is me out for a nice little poodle back in March 2023 and um, muntjuk deers travel in pairs so once you see the first one always expect the second one the impact pushed the camera down i stayed on more by luck than skill and the all-time favorite lane hogs you get that in the uk an awful lot this car's doing 50 miles an hour in a 70 limit it's been sitting there for over a mile i'm not about to undertake it on a dual carriageway if it was a three lane motorway i might go into lane one to get past safely although strictly speaking that's illegal we're coming up to a roundabout um, unfortunately the camera cut out uh, due to a battery before we could get to the roundabout because the car instead of turning right which i thought it was doing carried straight on anyway if you're driving in the uk or riding in the uk Expect to see this sort of fun and games going on and I hope you'll stay safe and see you in the new year at some point. Tatty bye for now.